Oh, hi there. I'm going to start a uh, new segment of my channel based on some ideas and possibilities of something that has occurred or, you know, is in a movie or something like that. And um, this particular angle of the conversation hasn't been brought up as far as I'm aware of. Um, there probably are, you know, uh, secret clubs and think tanks and all that sort of stuff that may have covered over this sort of stuff, but uh, I haven't run into them, so I don't know. I'm purely speculating. Well, uh, for no particular reason, I'll pick a World War II topic. Um, when... Operation Barbarossa was underway. The Germans ran into the Ukrainians. And the Ukrainians uh, welcomed the Germans at first because they hated the Soviets, especially Joseph Stalin, a lot. And a big question that does get brought up, or actually it doesn't, but it should, um is why didn't the Germans take this opportunity to convince the local populace to join the war against Russia? Uh, they had plenty of allies from uh, other countries, you know, of different ethnic origin. Uh, I mean, the Hungarians, um, in a lot of cases, you're hard-pressed to say that they were... Aryan blood, uh, according to the Nazis' doctrine. However, they were an important ally for a point in time, mostly because they had oil, and they committed some troops. Anyway, um, why didn't the Nazis, and specifically Hermann Goring, take the advantage of gathering a populace that despised the Russians and putting them in uniform like they did with so many other of the places they conquered. Uh, many French soldiers uh, converted over to um, services in the SS and uh, also in the Wehrmacht. But why didn't they do it with uh, the Ukrainians? Well... There could be many possibilities, and I'm simply throwing this out there. The Ukrainians may not have had um, a significant number of potential soldiers. Uh, let's remember that the Ukraine was firmly under the Soviet Union's thumb at this point in time. They went through a big starvation during Joseph Stalin's reign. And people simply weren't very big back then. There wasn't much food, so, you know, people don't grow big when there's no food around. So they might have been more scraggly looking uh, than the videos that are shown. I will uh, put a link to Apocalypse World War II, uh, specifically the episode Shock, in the, in the description below. Uh, that's a very good ABCs to the um, the uh, World War II scenario. Um, it's precisely the you know the beginning steps of learning. Okay, so I have other theories as well. Um, the Ukrainians, because they had a different culture, a different way of life. Um, they are of Slavic uh, origin. They probably had not a lot of communication with Germany before World War II, not in modern times anyway. So they would have behaved and acted completely different from what the Germans could have been expecting. Uh, the Germans, it's the fog of war. When they went in there, they didn't know what they were going to find. Because a lot of secrets were kept under the Iron Curtain and they were kept there for a reason because you, know, you could end up in Gulag. Gulag very bad. Um, and 
the Ukrainians were, um, you know, uh, not exempt from that punishment. So that should be something that should be remembered. Um, but given that, they would have actually taken on some of the mannerisms and have a very similar dialect to their neighbors to the east, the Russians. Uh, that will happen because they will have had communication with them, obviously, because the Russians stole their food, or most of it anyway. Um, so whether they liked them or they didn't, they still adapted some of their behaviors and mannerisms. And with that in mind, it is possible the Goring thought that what use as soldiers will these be in a few months' time? Will the animosity turn towards uh, the Germans because these Ukrainians are going to start to see similarities between them and the Russians? And they figured... Is it a, philo a philosophical, uh, ideological thing where they hate the Russians because the Russians have been, they've, they've abused them for a long time? Or is it going to be, at that moment in time, what they see for themselves? And is that they're attacking people that are very similar to themselves? Um, and will that have a psychological effect and therefore the Ukrainians in the future could betray Germany? That's also a possibility. I don't know. Um, yeah, I had other uh, potential possibilities as to why the, uh, the Germans did not accept the Ukrainians. Uh, Hermann Goring being a cunt uh, is obviously a very major reason. However, it isn't the only reason because the thing about Germans in World War II is they overthought everything. And that's not a good thing because, you know, then you, just, gee, you can be completely wrong about something. But they did anyway because that was their, their, the way how they operated. They overthought everything. And, uh... You know, even today, there are many people out there who overthink things. And in this particular video, it is pivotal to note that it could have been, it, it really could have been the simple reason as to why Goring said no. Instinctually, he said no to their help because he figured that they were Slavic and he didn't want anything to do with it. End of story. Very distinct possibility. It's it could have been the easiest answer that uh, that someone of Goring's intelligence could have come up with. Um, I mentioned Goring because he was the uh, important uh, Nazi official that actually went to the Ukraine and you know instituted uh, barbaric policy. I'm not specifically mentioning Hitler because, you know, it was Goring who went there. Um, so, yeah, those are all possibilities. I mean, the Ukrainian military at that point in time would have been non-existent because the Russians would have taken anything that would have remotely resembled any weaponry uh, when they were retreating. And the Ukrainians were probably not allowed to have any anyway. So their ability to operate military machinery or weaponry would have been limited. Uh, to say the least, if non-existent. So that, you know, is another potential reason. And none of these reasons are fair for what the Germans did to the Ukrainians. But the history is history, and that's what happened. So, you know, there's no point of sugarcoating it. Um, I try to usually wean away from these kind of conversations, but I felt compelled to make some World War II things because I was beginning to think that there are people out there who 
believe I don't know anything that happened in that war, even though, you know, uh, I've studied, read books, um, watched YouTube videos extensively talking about it. There's still people out there going, well, you don't know this basic information, blah, blah, blah. I was focused on other things, okay? Um, and, you know, how the Ukrainians, you know, it was a lose-lose situation. They couldn't win. Uh, the Germans didn't want them. The Russians were abusing them. They couldn't win. Wasn't fair. Um, however, since then, the Russians have continued to abuse them. I mean, we don't have to mention Chernobyl, but that is a big one. And, you know, it was kind of understandable that uh, some Ukrainians, when the, you know, that whole thing was happening uh, a few years back, that they were, you know, reverting to previous ideological beliefs. Um, simply because I don't think the Russians have really given any kind of apology for Chernobyl. Well, certainly haven't given them any money for that, any significant amount. Which they should do, but they won't. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. I was specifically talking about World War II. And the other potential reasons as to why the Germans did not accept... Ukrainians into the Wehrmacht I mean theoretically they could have used the manpower uh, you know at the end of the war they relied on the Volkstrom which uh, was comprised of old men and uh, young boys so that was obviously not the army that uh, um, was successful in you know previous war uh, previous battles uh, throughout the entire war uh, also, very bad situation. And, you know, I bring this up uh, also because the world would be a very, very different place if the cards were dealt differently. If the Soviets had been defeated, who knows what kind of world we'd live in today. But I'll tell you this, I don't think it'd be any worse at very least. Uh, Soviets, uh, they caused a lot of damned problems, they did. And, uh, yeah, some of these problems still linger. And, uh, you know, it's really unfortunate. Anyway, I don't want to overthink this video, so I think I'll tap out here. Uh, if anyone has any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment in this section. Thank you.